Hello again from Alation Productions. Today I've got a very long overdue update on my milling machine project. Um, been waiting and waiting, trying to get more and more significant looking things done with. And uh, definitely to that point now, probably well past that point. So it's our time for an update again. Um, basically I've got two different things I'm going to split for two different videos. Uh, first of all, I'm going to show you today the milling machine itself. I've got a little bit extra done on that. Uh, the more significant update comes with the control box, which I've been working extensively on. That'll come at a later date, uh, hopefully sooner than later. Anyways, as you can see, I finally got my speed control and Sherline DC motor mounted to my mill very similar setup to the one on my manual mill um, only small differences are uh, this is a lease-in motor other ones a hill house variety basically real similar motors we'll see if there's any difference when they operate and um, as you can see I've got pretty much the same sort of side mount for the speed control and different um, meters and such this one, instead of aluminum base, I put this onto some steel. I used a section of steel tubing actually to give me a nice preformed bend to hold it to a thin steel plate, which I have lots of. What I've got for instrumentation here, uh, as you can see, basically the same thing that I had on the other one. Let me see if I can get a good, it's hard to see with the contrast here. Um, I've got the same Simpson 2 amp meter on here that should cover the range of the motor nicely and a hour meter as well it's like the other one this one I opted for a manual meter which uh, don't have to worry about any batteries going bad or anything like that as you can see I got this is a um, that's my pilot light it's like the other one I have and I have a pilot light and a switch in reserve in case in the future I'd like to put a coolant pump or something of that nature on there. Decide to drill the holes and everything sooner than later. As you can also see, something a little bit of interest here, I've been experimenting with a black wrinkle finish specialty spray paint uh, using on this. I have a uh, old snap-on toolbox over here in the corner and intending to spray that down with a wrinkle finish but I decided I'd try out one of the cans and see how it turned out and actually it looks pretty nice very similar to a lot of uh, factory finishes you might find old microscopes or different equipment like that done up in um, anyhow that's basically it for that not a whole lot extra beyond that as you can see I got myself a keyboard I've actually had this for a while nice small little compact unit I should be able to tuck under the toolbox there when not in use and I'm starting to work on uh, getting the computer and other aspects hooked up you can see I started making up a front door panel for the electronics bay right there um, as you saw earlier too I got some hinges on there and that will basically just sit on here and it will be a gravity sort of thing it will just flop down in front just to keep uh, a little bit of the chips or anything else out of the area where the electronics are going to be mostly concerned about the computer there and mentioning the computer also a very other small update I have finally gotten a old legacy port for a parallel port installed into my computer there which originally didn't have one um, later on naturally I discovered that you can get um, adapters which will basically go from a parallel port to a USB port and somehow convert the signals in the wire itself but um, this is what I got in there we'll stick with it until it proves uh, completely unuseful um, that's pretty much it for now not a whole lot extra um, yeah that's basically it for now 
and a later update I'll show you what I have done in my controller box which is going to be running the servo motors and pretty much the, the link between the computer and the machine itself. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching. If you want to see more please subscribe and I'll try to keep more consistent and come out with videos a little sooner than I have been. Uh, until next time.